It's a sketch comedy podcast show. Henry, what did you want to talk to me about? Professor, Professor I, I think you've done a fine job over the years of adding all new and all different members to, to the X-Men, to the Xavier School, but we're in the year 2018 right now, and I feel like we might be behind the times. Different mutant powers are, are one thing, sir, but different types of people, intersectional diversity, if you will, I feel is something we could do better at. Well, Gino joined the team quite a while ago. I And that was an excellent start, the idea of a woman on a team. Back in the sliding time scale version of 1963, yes, quite impressive, I, I agree. But all of our gay team members, save one, are students that we only focus on occasionally. They, they don't have their own books, again, save one, and that was canceled. I realize I'm getting very meta here discussing the books that we're in, but you have to trust me that in the multiverse, things work very strangely. I'm well aware of how this works and how sales work. All right, Hank, you've uh, you've convinced me. For starts, a lot of people have been mentioning the fact that no transgender students at the Xavier Institute for Higher Learning, ratio-wise, population-wise, that doesn't seem to make sense. I don't, I'm not saying we have deliberately excluded anyone, but perhaps we could gain more perspective. I see. I see. Do you, do you have anybody you would suggest? Joshua Sanford, and uh, he has the mutant's ability to cause vegetation to grow rapidly. Could be very useful. Our garden is, frankly, quite pitiful. I see. I see. So he has the ability to take dirt and transit into fruit. Okay, yes, but it already has that ability. No, I think uh, we, we may be misunderstanding one another, and that's quite all right. I understand you're new to this. You're, you're old money. Uh, that's, that's fine. The school wouldn't have been built without that. No, it's that he himself, has his identity has transitioned over the years, and uh, he, he has realized who he, who he actually is as a person and has come to embody that person. So much like the dirt turning into fruit... He has become like the dirt and he's turned into a fruit? I mean, I suppose it would be easier if you just read my mind, but there are some things in there. Uh, I've made some very bad decisions lately. In a way, it's like a, uh, a caterpillar has turned into a, a butterfly. Oh, so he turns from an insectoid into a human and backed into an insectoid. No, it's, it's a one-way It's a one -way transition. It's, it's who he actually is in, inside his person. Is he forever stuck as a caterpillar? We may be misunderstanding each other here. Uh, maybe, maybe you'd best just, just meet him. Oh, uh, yeah, please, send him in. Hello, sir, Professor Xavier. I, um, I, I, I've been a big fan for years. Your, your work on mutant rights and, and genetics has been phenomenal. Oh, thank you, thank you. Now, uh, you don't look like a caterpillar. I'm sorry? You, you don't look like a caterpillar. I, Hank, Hank, Henry... Sorry, Professor McCoy told me that you were a caterpillar. P Professor McCoy, did I? Just do your best to explain. Uh, no, I can I can make plants grow. I, I suppose caterpillars could be beyond those plants. Interesting, interesting. So you can make plants grow? Uh, yes, faster than than usual. It's 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 a gift. I see. So you're transforming the plants from seedlings oh, to oh, big. So oh. that's your trans power. Oh, is you've... oh, this is this is this is uncomfortable. Uh, no, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm transgender. I, I was assigned female at birth, and, but I'm, I'm a man. Uh, well, I, I'm, a, I'm young, I'm, I'm a boy. Pretty straightforward, really. You have freaking Zorn here! How could you explain Zorn? This is so straightforward by comparison. We have podcasts to explain all of those things. You were a girl, and now you make plants into... Uh, no, no, I was, I was never a girl. I was assigned... I, I, I think my, my impression of the X-Men may have been... Incorrect. Uh, I mean, no, no, no offense, sir. Uh, it's just you, you, you deal with a lot of modern stuff. How are, um, how are, how are, how are you not better at this, Professor? Hank, who do you have for us next? Uh, yes, perhaps we we best move on. We'll um, come back to this, Joshua. Um, I, I apologize. I'll, I'll talk to the professor. Uh, just good luck on your caterpillar recovery. 
We also realized that after the whole Zorn debacle, we have not had any uh, Chinese members of the team. And for such an international team, that seems unfortunate. Uh, we have a mutant named uh, Jessica Foster, who's recently, her powers have recently manifested, and she sought out the Institute. Would you be available to meet her? I emptied out my calendar for the entire afternoon. Hank, go ahead and send her in. Uh, Jessica? Hello, Professor. Hi, Jessica. It's nice to meet you. Uh, it's, it's, it's a pleasure, sir. Your work against the, the Sentinels is incredible. Well, excellent. Uh, well, thank you. I, I'm flattered that you've spent so much time doing research. Uh, what brings you to the X-Men? Uh, well, my, my powers developed recently. I was, I was very excited. Uh, it, it's sort of a meta power, as I understand it, that's the term. Um, I can enhance the superpowers of certain people around me. Oh, well... That would be fantastic. For instance, with Storm, you could amplify her Storm powers. Or we could have you with Jean, and she could do even better telekinesis. Well, there's... There's, there's a catch, sir, and I'm, I'm sure we can work around it. I mean, your, uh, your experience with the mutant gene, with helping people control their powers, rogue or cyclops aside, is, is unparalleled. But it wouldn't really work with Storm. You see, Storm was always my favorite X-Man when I was growing up. And well, that's fantastic. Then you would be able to help her. I would love to, but uh, it, it only works on people who I actively, uh, emotionally dislike. I can enhance Gambit's powers. Nobody wants to enhance Gambit's powers. Say, for instance, you were in a situation and Magneto was lifting up a stadium and was going to drop it on somebody. How would your powers help in that situation? Well, I could I could make it so he lifted the stadium so well that it flew off into space. But then I, I guess he would bring it down and it would crash that much harder. But it would buy the X-Men some, some time, right? We'll have to get back to you. Okay, uh... It's just not gonna work out this time. Dr. McCoy has, has my... my phone number if... if anything changes. My powers seem to have increased. Okay, well, uh, we're... we're zero for two. Um, we'll, we're gonna have to have some conversations later. Now, this one I feel a little strange about, but as I understand it, uh, certain... Second Amendment aficionados have made it very clear that they feel like they are the ones who are oppressed and to not be represented on a team which is thematically all about oppression is offensive to them so we do have a man named Nathan Sumeria uh, who I felt obliged to, uh, to, to bring in. Well, Hank, when we did this, we really wanted to represent anybody who could possibly be following our antics and our heroism. And I want to make sure that anybody who reads our comics is equally represented and feels confident in our team. So please, send, send this person in. Uh, Mr. Samaria, if you're, if you're ready. Professor Xavier. You seem oddly familiar. You've never seen me before in your life. Not in this or in any time stream. Interesting. I noticed that you have quite a few guns. What kind of a power do you have? I'm covered in guns. I'm covered in the American dream, Xavier. It's, uh, it's intimidating. I'm definitely feeling it. You, you really do seem very familiar, though. No, no. This flashing eye is just my enthusiasm at being here. Yes, and you have very shiny guns. I noticed that all of the guns shine very well. Uh, are, do you have enhanced shooting powers? Do you have aiming powers? We've already got someone who shoots laser beams out of the guns. I have enhanced dedication to the American dream, and the firearms that allow it. Freedom is not free, Professor. No, you really seem very familiar. Hold on a second. Cable, is that you? I'm the wild man of Borneo. 